Hi guys, I hope you're having a good day. I have had a lot of questions about pesticides and how to get rid of bugs and which ones are effective and which ones I use on my succulents, etc. And I have mentioned um, a few, I think I did one video um, when I got a new systemic pesticide um, that I was trying that I did a video on, but I haven't done a follow up on that yet. And so I thought I would just take a minute. Um, if you know me, it's going to be more than a minute, um, but take a few minutes and show a few of the pesticides I've tried, um, what I feel like is good about them, what I wasn't so impressed with, etc. And then one that I'm, I haven't tried yet, actually, that I'm going to try. So the first one is this. This is Earth Tone um, Insect Control. And this one is for use... Um, it says for roses, flowers, and vegetables on it, as you can see, but it's for dormant um, growing season insect spray. Um, it also says for use on plants indoors and outdoors. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused on this one. I did use it um, during the growing season. Wasn't impressed. Don't know if um, it's just because there were too many leaves and stuff to hide. Or, or what, the, because it's supposed to be a dormant spray or what. It only lists the active ingredients on um, on this spray, which I don't really like either, but um, which is py pyrethrins, pyrethrins, which is a, um, it's an extract from pyrethrum, which is a flower, which is a great pesticide, and you can actually make your own out of the flowers, which can be really effective. But a lot of the more natural type um sprays um, and insect control sprays will have some form of pyrethrum in it. Um, it may list it as the whole plant, which is a pyrethrum, or it may list it as an extract like this one did, which is why I had to double glance at it. But, um, and canola oil. So the canola oil in it um, is obviously another leaning factor towards it being a dormant spray as oil sprayed on your plants during the summer especially can cause a lot of um, photosensitivity and sunburn. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can try it. I The only um, insects that I have really had major issues with on succulents, which major is a pretty, a pretty strong word, but the ones that I have had the most consistent issues with is mealybugs. Um, I haven't had any other, any other bug issues with any of my succulents um, here in Idaho other than mealybugs. And for mealybugs, this was a no-go for me. Um, but that doesn't mean it's not effective for other things and used as a dormant spray. It might be great. But for me, for what I was looking for, um, for succulents, it wasn't a great thing. Now, we have lots of other plants and trees and, and whatnot, and we'll use that. But for succulents, it's not, it, it wasn't, I wasn't impressed. It wasn't my favorite thing. All right, this is the, this is the second one, which is just an ortho, um, as you can see, rose and flower um, spray. It's for ants, ticks, spiders, um, I don't know what all it says, but again, mealybugs is the reason that I um, got this one. And this one wasn't awful. Um, it, I use this during the summer and winter. It's, I would say it slowed down their um, growth slash reproduction rate, but it didn't eradicate them by any means. Um, every few weeks I would need to spray again as there would be a few more, which is, which is pretty, pretty typical with sprays, but it definitely wasn't, um, yeah, see it says it keeps killing up to four months. So it's not a totally systemic, um, pesticide, but it's supposed to have extended protection, not just kill on contact. So I was expecting a little bit more from it. However, I have heard a lot of people giving really good reviews on, on this particular one. And it's possible that the, the plants that I used it on just it didn't absorb enough or who knows what. Um, but I used it quite a few times and really drenched the plant on a couple that only had, you know, I would only see four or five mealybugs on the plant and I would spray it down and then wait. And, you know, a few weeks later there would be four or five again. And so if it can't really wipe out that small of an infestation, I was um, not impressed enough to rely on it anyways. And so this year in particular, with me not feeling well and bringing all of my plants in, I just didn't have the energy to go over each and every one with a Q-tip and water and, you know, make sure that everything is free of bugs. 
And so I really wanted on a few that were more prone to mealybugs, I really wanted something systemic that would just go in and knock it for good so that I could bring them in the house. Then there's not going to be any reinfestation, hopefully over the winter. Um, and they can just do fine until they go back outdoors again. And this was not sufficient for me to accomplish that. So I went to number three which is this Aza Max, which is what I did a video on. I believe it's still up um, a while back that I, that I was trying it. It comes like this, and you measure it out. It's a concentrate. You mix it, and you water it um, into the root system. You don't spray it. Well, actually, I believe this one you can spray if you want to. I believe it's either one. But um, I wanted it particularly to water them with um, a lot of the succulents, I shouldn't say a lot, but quite a few of the succulents that I was wanting to get rid of mealybugs on, I didn't really want to spray them. They had powdery coatings or various things that I just didn't want anything sitting on the leaves to ruin the aesthetic that way. So I would really prefer to water it into the roots. So that's what I was doing with this guy. I have seen um, quite a few really good reviews on this. However, for me, it, it did not kill it in even even remotely kind of kind of killed them it was really sad I used this on leafy plants and succulents alike and none of them I even um, the second time I went back I used more thinking okay maybe I mixed it up wrong and, and it's just a little too weak no 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 dice for me on this guy um, maybe it killed a few you know you never can tell but um, not enough to be noticeable and not enough to even kind of slow down the battle for me so after using this one, I was thinking, you know what, I'm just going to have to go back to alcohol and Q-tips and do it the really slow way. But I decided to try one more. Um, we were somewhere and stopped by a nursery that I don't usually, um, I'm not usually around that's not in our area. And I was looking for another systemic type pesticide and this one. Um, came into my view and I will put the link for this one I'm not gonna put all of them in you can read the labels enough to look them up if you want to but I will put um, a link if I can find one um, to to this particular pesticide so you can read any of the details that you want I in general am very very pro natural stuff I use all kinds of natural remedies in the garden and um, herbs and various things, trees and whatnot, very successfully. Um, but this year, and yeah, and hardly use pesticides at all, but this year I had some very precious plants that had some mealybugs lurking about, and I was just like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we are kicking that, we are kicking that. Even though, as if you've seen my videos, I do have um, plants around that attract mealybugs and kind of act as scapegoats to, to draw them away. But since using this, um, I haven't even really needed my... Um, my um, kind of scapegoat plants for the um, for the winter because this was highly effective it is a powder and um, you just put it right on you measure it and based on your pot size and you put it right on to the top of the soil and kind of mix it in a little bit with a um, a little shovel or spoon or whatever um, into the top just just enough and um, then whenever you water it gets activated and reactivated every time you water and it lasts um, this says it lasts it protects plants for up to two months which you know this said four months and wasn't so but this I can I can vouch for I got it only oh well actually I'm not sure how long it's actually been on my plants but um, a few months and it it was amazing it just it just dried them up they I would I would go oh, no there's a mealy bug you know and, and see the little white fuzzy and and start picking at it and the bug is dead inside just deader than a doornail and all of them were that way and it's been on multiple plants just just gone and um, I'm sure they'll come back eventually if there's a reinfestation and this wears off but I don't need any really long-term um, protection. I just need some now and then when I'm pulling them in for the winter or if I get a plant that's infested or something. Um, I had years with never a mealy bug ever ever and then um, 
a plant that I purchased and ordered someone um, shipped to me. It was from an individual and it was covered in mealybugs and I didn't notice it because they were underneath the bottom and I was sick and I set it on a shelf to wait until I felt better, which was a couple weeks. And by the time I felt better and looked at it and realized it was eaten up with mealybugs, they had spread their joys to my other pots. And so, um, I had to get a grip on that. And this by far has been the best for me. Um, here to get rid of these guys. Now, the last one that I have, which I haven't tried yet, which is a more natural solution, is this guy. People in Pet Safe Dr. Earth's Final Stop Rose and Flower Insect Killer. And this is predominantly um, essential oil based, so it has rosemary oil, peppermint oil, thyme oil, cinnamon oil, garlic oil, etc. Um, it also has sesame oil in it, but a very small amount. And so it can burn your leaves if you spray them and then they're exposed to the sun um, really drastically. But um, spraying at night is what I tend to do. And that way they can sit happily on soak up as much as they can before the sun comes out and potentially um, can cause damage that way. So I will let you guys know um, probably in the summer if I get some new guys in that have some issues that I can deal with. I am going to try this out and I'm really excited about it. Like I said, I don't have a ton of bug issues so um, I, I don't get a a lot of opportunities to test out new products but whenever possible I would always prefer to go natural and usually I make my own potions and um, and whatnot and I could share some of those at some point too I am an aromatherapist and an herbalist and have done lots of training and um, teaching on that and working that in using plants to protect plants is kind of is kind of fun and I really enjoy that but I am um, I've been looking for something that is just you know easy to buy for everyone that I could recommend that is natural and I'm hoping that this might be it we shall see um, don't go out and buy it just just thinking that I'm saying this is the best because I haven't tried it yet but um, I will let you know and I am very hopeful um, yeah I'm, I'm very hopeful that there I know there's a lot of, of natural products out there um, but a lot of them are not great for succulents because they're so oil heavy um, essential oils are not an actual oil they're called a volatile oil which means they evaporate um, just naturally. So if you put a tablespoon of olive oil out, for example, or canola oil, cooking oil, you could leave it out on the counter for months and it's not going to evaporate, right? Because it's an oil. Whereas essential oils are um, a volatile substance, not a true oil that is extracted from the plant and will evaporate off. So if you're using essential oils, um, you can still cause some damage. Some oils are really harsh with certain plant tissues and you wonder, well, how can they be a plant oil and be harsh on plants? But the plants actually have little tiny compartments that are specially lined to keep these really strong chemicals from damaging their other more tender tissue. And so when we extract that and then just spray it all over the leaves thinking, well, it's a plant, it can't hurt a plant, it potentially can. However, essential oils aren't nearly as likely to cause burning and um, the same kind of damage um, with the sun and photosensitivity as true oils are, like sesame or um, canola olive, you know, uh, whatever. If it feels oily, if it's smooth and really oily feeling, that is probably a true oil. If it, um, if it feels more like water and kind of evaporates off, that's probably an essential oil or it could be a perfume also. Most perfumes are made with alcohol and evaporate off pretty quickly. But um, that's something a lot of people don't realize is that essential oils aren't true oils. So if you're using them in a spray like this, um, there's not nearly as much danger as like with neem oil or something like that that is a true um, actual oil. Um, that is all of the pesticides I have to show you for today. I have tried a few others, obviously many others over the years, but these are the last, the, the last few I've tried in the last few years that have worked or haven't worked for me. If you guys have a favorite mealybug or other pest, um, cure that you just swear by, please leave a comment below and let us know what that is. If you have a pesticide that always works great for you, even though we, a lot of times shy away from pesticides with succulents please share it because once in a while you just can't quite kick those boogers and you just need something to really get in there and get it done especially if it's a really precious plant or sentimental or you can't find another one etc so please share if you have any favorite 
um, sprays or potions that you like to use for your plants, please share in the comments below if you would like to join our Facebook group um, where you can comment and post pictures and share and ask questions or whatever. Um, there will be a link to that in the description box below also. Feel free to join. I will add you as soon as I am able. I, it sometimes takes a few hours, especially with overseas stuff. So when it's morning your time, I might be asleep, so it might take a little bit to, to add people, but I always add as soon as I can, and it's a lot of fun to get to see everybody's plant babies and just share ideas and... Um, yeah, stuff like that. So that's it for today. Uh, until next time, I will talk to you later and happy growing.